Okay, so we're on day three, week four, smashing through the 30 day challenge. Well done everybody so far. I have got some shout outs today. I have got uh, Julie from Brooklyn in New York. Chelsea wants to say hi. She wants to say hello. Next one, um, Aisha and Chris. That's my shout out for you. And a personal shout out for me to two lovely people who are on my Facebook every single day, Ola and Kathy, you're awesome. Every day you're on my Facebook answering questions, sending positivity right the way through the page, love it. Got any shout outs? Yes, I do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my shout outs to Lori and her last name, I believe is Cora. She was the first one, or one of the first people to like the official Team Canada Body Rock page. So she's been a great supporter of Body Rock and Body Rockers. So just a big shout out to you and thanks for all your support. Okay, so if you've not hit the Facebook yet, you have not seen that we are making some Team Canada, Team USA, Team UK. They're on their way. Your country's on its way. So get on the Facebook, look out for that. And my power word of the day is capable. And that's because you have proven how capable some of you are out there. Those of you that are falling off that wagon, get straight back up. Make sure you're keeping positive, keeping strong, moving forward, making positive changes because you are all capable of doing this. Keep going, we're here, get on the Facebooks, get on the website. Today's exercises, you're gonna get three from me and you're gonna get three from him. Three. Yeah, three. Get on the way. <laughs> so, once you've done mine, you're gonna do Sean's and then if you've got any more in you, you can do them all over again. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it then. Engage your core and then drive up, abs in, back down to the floor. If you don't have a sandbag, you can use a pillow, you can use stuffed with weight, you can use your oogie ball. Those of you that are still um, working up to press ups, that's absolutely fine. What you're going to do is you're going to do one press up and then either a front raise or a jump. Remember, if you can't do the press ups yet on your toes, do them on your knees. So, like this. That's absolutely fine. Just do as many as you can in the 50 seconds. Post your scores on the website, okay? So that was the first one. The second one was really groovy. So we're gonna do a bag drag. So get yourself some room. I've only got a certain amount of space, but if you've got longer, then go for longer. Okay, so positioning yourself in the plank position. Engage your core. Make sure you're nice and tight in your core. 
You're going to come forward of the bag enough that your hands reach away and then drag the bag through and then crawl over the bag again and then drag the bag through. Once you've got to the point of where you can hit no return, come backwards and drag the bag backwards to the starting point. If you don't have a bag, a really cool tip for you is the filling a pillowcase full of something and just dragging the pillowcase along the floor. Other than that, if you're just starting with us, I just want you to crawl along the floor and then crawl backwards. Now that might look really easy, but when you've done it for 50 seconds, it's not that easy. Okay, so that's your modification. And our third exercise was commando press ups. So, get yourself a mat or the length of the floor. Starting at one side, you're gonna do one press up with a knee tuck. Another press up, other knee. On the floor, hands out in front, one roll. Whoosh. <laughs> Come up, 10 mountain climbs. One, two, three, four to 10. Back down. Whoosh, over again, hands on the mat, up you come again, a few press ups, and then back over to your mountain climbs. If you can't do them yet on your feet, you're gonna do them on your knees, go down, on your knees, and that's how, that's how you're gonna modify that, because mountain climbs, you should be able to do that, but just slow them down. So they're my three exercises. So now Sean is gonna show you what he's done, and then you're gonna put the two together. It's gonna be absolutely tough as nails. Oh, good luck with that. All right, first exercise uh, was with the sandbag. Um, so what you're gonna be doing, it's called the over the boulder shoulder holder. Um, so you're going to take the bag, try to keep your back straight, weight in your heels and then uh, put some stick your butt out when you're when you're doing this so you're gonna come down you're gonna come up bring the bag up on top of your shoulder you're gonna do one squat and then it's opposite leg to try to touch the elbow come back down bag down just for a second other shoulder squat opposite uh, opposite knee to elbow and then back down you're gonna do that for 50 seconds now, um, for this, you want to try to keep your legs or your feet, toes pointed outwards. Um, that way it gives you better depth for your squat and also allows you to get your bag down in front. And for coming up, it's uh, a lot easier to have the mobility to get the leg or knee to elbow. So that's the first one. If you don't have a bag, you can just do body weight, okay? So you can go here. We can do this, pretend, and then come back up, back down, squat, and back down that way. If you have something at home, um, if you have a weight um, or anything that, uh, you know, a backpack, you have some weights that you want to put into that, not weights, but something that you can weight the backpack with to do that as well, by all means, try that. Okay, second exercise was around the world, uh, again with the sandbag. So you're just going to come here, you're going to grab the sandbag and you're going to come around your head all the way around. You want to try to get it to close to you, keep the bag as close to you as possible. So you're going to come right around, you're going to come down, you're going to do a squat just like so. You want to keep your weight in your heels, knees not past your toes. When you're coming down, you're going to do the squat, you're going to come up and then you're going to fire the bag around the opposite side and you're gonna come back over and do the squat again, okay? If you don't have, uh, if you don't have a bag, uh, if you have like a kettlebell at home, uh, that also works. So what I'm gonna suggest, if you have a kettlebell or something weighted, you're gonna come around the world like that. And we're gonna pretend this is my kettlebell. You're gonna keep the kettlebell in front when you do your squat, okay? So you're gonna come down and come up. You don't want to keep the kettlebell back on your back because that's not good for it. So that's that. Um, third exercise. Uh, say hi. <laughs> say hi, Lisa. Hi. <laughs> She's filming just to let you guys know. Okay. Mr. Director. Third exercise. You're going to grab it. You're going to hold it just like so. You're going to come down into the squat. Again, you're going to try to have your toes pointed out and legs fairly wide. You're going to come down, hold right here, weight in the heels. You're going to come up, 
No, I screwed that up. Cut. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna do a press, right up, right back down, a jump squat, and then back up, jump squat. For this one, you're really gonna have to use your core. You're gonna have to have your weight in your heels, and just make sure you're sticking your butt out when you're coming down. If you don't, you're gonna feel it in your back, and that's not good. So a strong core, weight in the heels, and stick your butt out. So those are three, three quick tips um, for that exercise. If you don't have a bag, you can do body weight. So you can do one, pop up, one, pop up. Okay, so you can do that for body weight. Again, if you don't have the sandbag, if you have a, uh, like a weighted or a kettlebell or something, you can do the same sort of thing. So you can do the press, pop up, and then come back down. So those are some modifications uh, for you if you don't uh, have the sandbag. That's the workout. Lisa did a fantastic job, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yes, she did. <laughs> okay, so that's it, that's all. Make sure you're joining the teams. Canada, US, UK are up, and we're gonna have other teams for you as well, uh, hopefully in the near future. Right, Lisa? Yeah, I'm on it. Yeah. All right, that's it. Thanks, guys. Enjoy your workout, everybody. Bye. Bye. Lift a squat and a kick. It's inner thighs, glutes, arms, body, abs. Go. Pick it up. Come on. Shoulder. Lift. Squat. Kick. No, other leg. Right. Down. Lift. Squat. Power through. Obliques. Drop it. Down. Lift. Other shoulder. I, did, I just did that shoulder. Yeah, but you, you didn't. I didn't? No. I had it on this one? No, you had it on that one. So now you need to change it. Oh, turn it. Are you doing one shoulder and then the other shoulder? That's it. Squat and a kick. Down. Lift. Squat and a kick. Perfect. Lovely. Squat and a kick. Say to yourself, lift, squat, kick. Awesome. Alright.